Hi there. We are so glad you joined us today for this message. We hope you enjoy it. Kick back, learn about Jesus, and be blessed. Talk to you soon. Well, good morning, church. Good morning. We're so glad to be here. In the rain, in the sunshine, it doesn't matter a bit. Thank you, Lord, that you send what you send. So uh, it is always a blessing for us to gather with our brothers and sisters in Christ. Because we'll all be together forever, right? Wow. Even if we're just meeting for the first time today and we don't see you again, we're going to be together forever. So, saints, yeah. thanks for being here. And as long as we're right here on this earth, we got work to do, right? Wow. Okay, so, saints, we're going to go marching. Wow.
When Christ shall come With shouts of acclamation And take me home What joy shall fill my heart Then I shall bow In humble scripture you want me to put up? And I said, I don't think so. And so here I am, right in the middle of the service, telling only one scripture. Um, but we are Simple Gifts, the Sawyer Family Band, and we hail from Weatherford, right down the street where your neighbors. <laughs> right now you're looking at the Simple Gifts trio. So uh, young David is down there, um, 18, and uh, our multi-instrumentalist, and I'm so grateful for our son. My husband is also David. We've got a couple Davids to make it easy. And then we throw a Kathy in there. Okay, so I'm I'm Kathy. And, um, we're just thrilled to be back and to be with you and to see your beautiful faces and to, to worship together. So thank you for being here this morning. And, um, and we're talking, we were singing about how great our God is. And, um, and there's this verse in Zephaniah, which um, you may have heard. I love it so much. Um, and it talks about the Lord your God. He is in your midst. And he's right here. We're gathered together and he is right here in the middle of us. He's in our midst. He's the mighty one. And he will save how great he is. He's mighty and he will save. Okay, folks. In Zephaniah, it tells us he's rejoicing over us. He's rejoicing over us with gladness. And if you're unsettled, if you're hurting, if you're disturbed, he will quiet you. The Lord can do that. He's here, he is mighty, and he can quiet you with his love. And guess what? While we're singing to him, Zephaniah tells us that he rejoices over us with singing. So we sing to him, and he sings over us. Oh, it's beautiful. So he's mighty again. Well, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him, heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, angels bow before him. Power, 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 
working power in the blood of the way. There's power, power, one working power in the precious blood of the land. Well, would you be free from this burden of sin? There is power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you worry? If I don't trust him, 
scripture says what God's trying to tell you. I don't know if you all feel like you're ADD like I am. But you know, I'll get there for a couple minutes and then all of a sudden I'm thinking, I forgot to start the dishwasher. You know, I don't think our daughter's out of bed yet and she needs to get moving. And I've gone through about two verses and I'm not thinking anything about what I just read. My head has gone another direction. And I know David really wrestled to internalize scripture. And so what he discovered for him, um, he loves the feel of a Sharpie in his hand, and he loves the way that Sharpie feels going over a piece of paper. And he started to realize that if he would write scripture out, it would begin to seep in. And, uh, and for him, it's been a great outlet and a great way to really sit with Scripture. In fact, you'll see out there, in here, actually, um, uh, but then he loves to take that Scripture and go a step farther and be creative with it. Um, and so we've got some of the Scripture that he's written out there in the, in the hall. Here's, here's one, okay, I'm talking about ADD. Um, that he has written over and over again. And now he's written it in a way that I can keep it in my Bible. And it says, I still know that I am God's. He still knows that I am God's. And Kathy, has, she, uh, she sets this up so well. When I come in here, and I go, ooh, that is rough, isn't it? I say, what am I going to do? I'm, I'm just totally taking the lead out of it. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> so I need help. Romans, John 15, 5. John 15, 5. <laughs> Roman John. <laughs> John, so I'm kind of trying to be uh, confusing when I'm getting all that. Well, what does it say? It says, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. So I get up here, you know. <laughs> And I don't hear the tone. So what do I do? I rely on God. And uh, God has provided me with my son. Oh. Then. Yeah. 
Do you feel out of tune sometimes? How do you feel? When you wake up and you just can't get going, you know? Lord, I just can't roll with it this morning, you know? But what's he want us to do? He wants us to trust in him. listen to him. But I can't give up. No, I can't give up. Because if I give up, if I give up in him, I'll never get, I'll never find him. I mean, he's there. But I've got to tune in to him. And I just, I don't know, I, that hit me this morning as Kathy was talking about be still. I've got to be still and I've got to listen to him and I've got to listen to that. What's that note there? Mm -hmm. And if you play the guitar, you're probably going, man, that that note's a little bit flat, Daddy. You have some friends. You have some friends. You know, we all need to tune ourselves up, but we're pretty, I'm pretty critical sometimes. You know, that guy needs to tune himself up a bit. He shouldn't act like that. But we're always working with God doesn't expect us to be perfect. I am the vine, you are the branches. You remain in me. I will remain in you. Be still and know that he is God.
His unfailing heart of love Beating for His little ones Calling each of us to come Be the songs, but it says, praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Thank you, David, for letting us praise him with the sound of the trumpet. It says, praise him with stringed instruments. So we're going to move David to the fiddle, from the mandolin to the fiddle, all stringed instruments, and we get to praise him with all kinds of stringed instruments. Um, it also says in that last chapter of the Psalms. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord, that we are here and breathing today and we're going to praise you. But here's one on stringed instruments. <laughs> to me in an audible voice. There's just this conviction I get. So I'll say, I heard the Lord say, and I did not hear a voice. You know, it's just something I knew in my spirit that had to be from him. And so about 19 years ago, we knew in our spirit that we had a son and that he was in Russia. We had to go, we had to go find him in Russia. That, I'm talking about young David. You know, and had the Lord not given us a son, that would have been enough. But he was so good. And he chose to give us a son. And he was just real clear about where our son was. And so um, um, a, 
Americans can't adopt from Russia now. Thank you, Lord, that we went over in 2004 when we could. Um, and, but at that time, you had to make two trips. And so we went back and forth to Russia um, to get to know our son and to go to a Russian court and to get to bring him home. Okay, so that's enough. Lord, you found our son and you brought him to our family. How good you are. Um, but this wasn't any boy. No, not just any boy. It was this one. Um, and you know, he and his dad share so much, but they don't share DNA. And is it just like our God that he would put music in both of them? He put it in both of them, even though they're not biologically related. So anyway, huh, there you go. Um, so anyway, we just want to thank him for what he does, but we just want to praise him for who he is, for who he is, because who he is, is enough. And I don't even remember what we're saying, so you just... It was a ton of money. A ton of whatever it was they had at the time. It was a ton. 
and he went off and he squandered that money and he ended up with nothing. And so he went out and he was feeding pigs, which isn't a real wonderful job anyway. But in that culture, pigs were dirty and awful. You didn't want anything to do with pigs if you were a Jew. And there he was, taking care of these pigs. And you might remember, suddenly it dawned on him that, okay, the servants of my father are in better shape than I am. So maybe I should just go home and offer to be a servant to my dad. So that's what he did. He headed home. And his father saw him coming. And it didn't matter to his dad where he'd been, what he'd done. It didn't matter. His son was coming home. And what did the dad do? He didn't just go to his son. He ran. He ran to this wayward son. He ran to him. You guys, that's that's just like our father. That's just like our father. It doesn't matter where you've been, what you've done, what you're struggling with. It doesn't matter. You head home and he's going to turn and run.
Okay, I know you know the answer to this question. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. They want me to dance a little longer. <laughs> When I would wash away my sins, nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me by the soul. And she had to go keep her obligation up in Oklahoma. Um, so she's playing up in Oklahoma today. Um, I know. I know it. Oh, uh, yeah. Exactly. Um, so, but she found this song. She was listening to Johnny Cash. And she found this song. And it is an amazing song. Um, um, and we're in the process of making a recording. But other than that, we've never heard anybody other than Johnny Cash do this song. Um, and it's called The Miracle Man. And it talks about struggles that we have to go through in this life. And we've all experienced those, haven't we lately? We've all experienced those struggles in this life. But Jesus did things for us that we will never have to do. We'll never have to walk Calvary's Hill. He did that for us. We'll never have to take nails in our hands. He did that for us. And he is the miracle man. Wow. 
I've had some hard times and years now gone by. I've had my heartaches and my cup has been dry. But I've never been kicked or publicly scorned. And I've never worn a crown. was 
Thank you for joining us today. We hope you were blessed. If you have any questions, please give us a call, 682-327-7082. We are at 7955 Reed Road in Azle, Texas. Y'all have a good day now, you hear?